just being trained in public health and working in healthcare my entire career, I've always known how you know spatial analytics are so important in terms of community. I mean, just the, the foundations of public health are really in our communities. And as this pandemic, you know, we had been really looking at adoption of, you know, we've always thought about community and it's core to our mission. But as we, you know, as COVID came in and especially into our communities, some of our communities first, and you're thinking about providing health care and not knowing, you know, really understanding what's happening in community, understanding who your vulnerable populations are, because we had to plan for a lot of different scenarios. If people got sick, how, how were we thinking about be prepared, who are we going to partner with, what were alternative sites, and especially with looking at those that are, are vulnerable communities. And so I think it really connected the dots between people know it inherently, SD, you know, that communities connected to health. But this, <laughs> it, you get so busy and, you know, you're, you're working inside a hospital or inside the four walls, you know, you, you, those, those connections aren't always so visible. And what COVID did was really just put those hand in hand. You know, as soon as we um, caught our breath in terms of making sure we had enough PPE and our healthcare providers were, were protected and, you know, our, our patients were, were um, you know, cared for, then it really went into community. And how do we look at mitigation? Um, because we didn't know how this was going to spread and who were our partners in areas where we had vulnerable populations. And so it was an absolute, you know, I think magnifier to how important spatial analytics and how important community, um, not, not only the information that's happening inside the hospital, but within the entire community. And as we move forward, becoming even more, more important as, uh, you know, that we have different waves of this or that the secondary impacts in terms of food insecurity, housing, or just the economic downturn and, and how that's going to impact, you know, uh, perhaps homelessness in the future.